Charterman, Charterman, Brian. Charterman, 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 Brian. Three car mix, Twister, Hell of Six, Hell of Wacky Nick. Take a bad hit, take a bad hit, Charterman. Look at the curves on this woman. She is so fine. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shortimus Prime here doing another Marvel Universe figure review on technically not a Marvel Universe figure, but the Marvel Infinite Series 3 3 quarter inch Hulk figure. I picked this figure up at Big Bad Toy Store. If you're trying to find your Marvel figures, you can pick them up there. Big, big, big. Get your big, badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. I like this packaging. It's this cool black, sleek packaging. Kind of reminds me of the six inch Star. Star Wars Black Series figures and the 6-inch Marvel Legends figures. It looks pretty cool. I like how this looks. Huge Marvel logo over there. And we have the big four from the Avengers. You get Thor's hammer, cap, star, Iron Man's helmet, and then the Fist of Hulk. And then we have Hulk over here with his very controversial armor. Says the Hulk at the bottom. Then on the back of the packaging, here's the other figures from the Wave. I've been trying to pick up the Wasp figure. That's the one I'm looking for the most, just like everybody else. But I do have it pre-ordered at BBTS. So if I don't find it at retail, I will get it through BBTS. Then here's a picture of the figure. Then we get this little bio. It says, for years, Bruce Banner fought against the other self, hoping to repress or destroy the Hulk. Now they work in concert. Banner using his brilliance and the Hulk applying his raging strength when intelligence fails. So this is not really a smart Hulk. I guess it's kind of like a combo between Banner and Hulk. Because I think smart Hulk was just Banner inside the Hulk body. But anyway, this is a pretty cool looking figure. Let's get to it and crack it open. So here's our armored Hulk out of the pack. Packaging looking pretty cool. I like this figure. Actually, I liked the first time I bought it when it was called Apocalypse. Oh, look at that. Nah, it's, they're very different figures. But this guy right here is definitely based off of this Apocalypse figure, which came out a while ago. So here we have Vonner still making Marvel Universe figures while not working for Hasbro. You can see that the legs are pretty much exactly the same, just with the color differentiations right over there. That was a hard word for me to say. I don't know why. And then you can see like the veins right here on the biceps. They're exactly the same. We, of course, we have the different hands and we have these added on pieces of this Hulk over here now the whole thing with the armor of this figure a lot of people have got upset about it like why the hell does Hulk need armor he's the Hulk no reason for armor he's Hulk and I kind of have to agree with that but you know the purpose of the armor really is that he can shoot unibeams right out of his nipples and then he can shoot a unibeam right out of his crotch and then he has these jet packs right here that allow him to fly because you know before he was just jumping really far but now no and that's not what the armor is for at all. So I looked it up and basically right now Hulk is working for shield and this armor is supposed to help track him And it's also supposed to help him when he's Bruce Banner So I guess that's the whole reasoning behind this I don't know why they couldn't have used just some kind of little chip or something like that But he's got to have the whole armor over here now the head sculpt on the figure doesn't look too bad uh, I think we have some gappage right there in between his teeth. That's pretty prominent But aside from that, I think the head sculpts just fine. It looks like Hulk how he looks in the comics right now Pretty cool looking Hulk. Eh, not too bad. Yeah, the hair is a little slick back. I kind of like that messier look. You know what I mean? That Lou Ferrigno ish kind of look. Well, not that long, but you know what I'm saying. But it's not too shabby. And the armor does look cool. They did a really good job with these paint applications. It looks really, really nice. I really like the silver dry brushing over the black. So it's pretty cool. We have these straps right here going on over here. Then these pieces do fall off quite easily. It is quite frustrating. Very frustrating. These things just pop off very easily and yeah so that kind of sucks I wish they had something so it could tab into the arm or if it was a tighter clip you know what I mean it's just loose over here it just falls off so easy but for the most part the armor looks very clean the yellow is nicely spotted on right there in these holes and right here on the groin section so that looks pretty cool maybe the armor was to help him time travel I can't really remember I don't really remember much of anything and I don't know why then here's the back of the armor I really like seeing the brush strokes right over here I think that looks very cool I think the green is a little inconsistent on the figure I feel like this looks like a brighter green than it does right here on the arms they look like two different colored greens to me I don't know if that's just me but yeah it looks like two different colored greens I wish they had added some shading I'm a big fan of this shading right over there and the brown is just a solid color and then taking a look at the boots over here they look great as I mentioned before they have the same sculpt as the boots on apocalypse over here what really tripped me out is it says 20 
2010 right here on this brand new figure. But what I really like is that Hasbro didn't go cheap on the paint applications. I just love seeing the silver over the black over here. It just looks really, really cool to me. So the articulation on this figure is not too bad, but unfortunately you cannot move his head up more than this right here. I'm trying to move it up and it's just going to pop off, which it can pop off. So if you want to have it, you can do that. It moves down just fine and you can rotate the head side to side. And these things are already wanting to fall off over here. He has shoulders that move outward. You can rotate them forward. He has a bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, wrist moves side to side. He has this curve on the wrist, which is a little irritating to me. Kind of wish this was straightened out a little bit more. He has a diaphragm joint that rotates side to side, crunches forward and back a bit. And it does have some diaphragm pivot. He has hip joints that move outward just a little bit, just that much. And they do kick forward, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and he does have ankles that move down, up, and a beautiful ankle pivot. And while those arm guards had fallen off, I wanted to show also that you can take off this whole torso piece over here. So let's just do that so you can see how that looks. And yeah, this is a soft enough material where it's not really much of a problem to take that off. And there's Hulk totally, uh, I don't know, from the waist up armorless. Not looking too bad, but like I said, I can really tell that there's a difference between these two greens right here and the head. I guess that makes sense, the armor's blocking the sun, right? Makes sense. So this being a Marvel Universe figure or a not Marvel Universe figure, it stands just at about four and a half inches tall. And then here he is next to the Marvel Universe Apocalypse figure, which barely stands taller than the Hulk. And there's Marvel Universe Juggernaut, Marvel Universe Red Hulk, which uses the original Marvel Universe Hulk body. And then here he is next to the second release of the Marvel Universe Green Hulk, which is still my favorite three three quarter inch Hulk figure, even though I do like the body mold on this one a lot. It looks really cool. Actually, I kind of wish this guy was just a little bit bulkier, but the texturing and paint applications and actually the sculpt overall, I just like more. And here he is next to the Marvel Universe Scar, which his proportions look kind of weird now. I like the proportions on this Hulk a lot more. Here he is next to the new Marvel Universe Captain America figure, which has been re-released for this same Infinite Series wave. And then here's Hulk compared to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So even though I've had numerous complaints about this figure, I do still think it's a good figure. Not a bad Marvel Universe figure. I have to say though that these bands are super annoying though. That is the biggest complaint. It's very frustrating. They just fall off, man. They're super pliable and they just fall right off. But you can get the figure standing on one foot, which is a plus for me, especially for like these larger type figures. You know, I think that's really cool right there. Anyway, I hope you guys liked my video. Please hit the like button if you liked it. Leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Whoosh. That's crispy. So it's like he's been, I don't know.